Um, hi, I'm Lee. This is Steph and Josh. Hello. We're going to interview each other for about the neon spectrum. Okay, so Josh, yes. uh, neon spectrum. Uh, how? Well, do you remember how we met? Do you remember your first audition? I remember my first audition. Yeah. 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 I remember that I was quite intimidated by it, but yes. like it turned out to be quite a relaxing and like fun set to be on when we actually got around to shooting the film. But like. The audition itself was in a like a boardroom, yes. And there was like a camera set up filming me, and there were like five people at a desk, like all watching me. And Lee was there, and I didn't really know. It was like flash dance. Yeah. You were the uh, sec. Yeah, we had five guys. You were the second guy to walk in that yeah. day, and well, we were you know, to be interviewed, and we all just looked at each other and we were like, this "Oh my god, the, this is the guy." This is the one. We were like, uh, "Yeah." The baby face. We um, we, yeah, we saw that photo, didn't you? Yeah, you've probably still got that footage. So, tell us about what you do, besides acting. Okay. Have a um, seat. Oh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah, I was studying an arts degree at Melbourne Uni. I've deferred that since leaving school. Yeah. Um, basically just throwing myself into a lot of acting this year, uh, as much as I can. Uh, I mainly had a background in theatre until recently, until probably the last five months I've just been doing a bunch of short films, like mostly student films, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so at the moment I'm just working and trying to do as much acting as I can. So. Okay, and is that, what is your, your end goal? Is that because you want to be an actor and that's it? That's all you want to do? Almost the plan, I know it's very hard, but um, you know, I thought I might as well give it a shot, so. Is that something you wanted to do for a long time? Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, you can get very sensitive. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I kind of get the impression of like the hard exterior, but he's also quite um, you know, intelligent and in touch with his uh, emotions under the surface. So Lizzie was there, she was reading with me, and um, she, it was great. I did the scene and I was quite nervous the first time I did it. And then like in between takes or whatever, she just like whisper encouragement at me. And she looked quite like, you know, exasperated as in like she'd seen a lot of people she was like yes you're doing really well <laughs> and I was just like oh, cool cool yeah. and then like I think for the emotional dead mum scene you all left the room <laughs> your favorite scene and um I, I that was just like me and the camera and yeah or you or either you everyone left or it was just you that left there watching because I, I remember I don't know I don't know why I think it was just like all right he's gonna Chapter two, body hair. <laughs> and so. when we created your costume, we beat it. We beat it. Yeah, it wasn't even the original a, V. Yeah. You knew that, but this, we actually like ripped it. So oh well, my god, yes, I yeah. remember that. And, and cut, you were like, oh shit, that was like, too we much. We cut the sleeves off, and yeah. we because it was a handmade t <laughs> just for the film. We had one. One of them, and we just so did. A, we did a V neck. We did the sleeves, and we tried to make you a little bit rocker. And oh my gosh. Did you see the original concept photos of Axel? No! Can you please edit them into this interview right, right uh, now? It's, like, it's like, you... like four different possible yeah. looks, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. just my headshot photoshopped onto. Oh my god! Um, it is hilarious. Actually, I, have a, I need to see it. Uh, yeah, I forgot I superimposed your head because I had a. <laughs> That was the first time I ever had like doubts about if I wanted to be an actor. I was like, look at this photo, I was like, oh my god! Yeah. But, <laughs> no, I was fine. I'm just oh, really it was funny. it was just a very funny photo. Just, I didn't end up I ended up looking like a normal human. But in these photos though, I just looked, was like oh, so weird. It looked weird ass. I, I know what you no, they were okay, they were like concept just to have a look at like what his costume might be. Do you remember you guys first day on set together? Yeah. That was, yeah, the first scene. Yeah. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. We were, I think we were nervous. I was nervous. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it in the park? <laughs> we didn't yes. even, did it? And, and we, we reshot it. Yeah. We, yeah. we were like, nah, that didn't feel good. It was good also at raining, all. wasn't it? Yes. It was spitting, yeah. Yeah, and you weren't happy with that because you wanted it to be really So, lovely. first day on set, they, um, yeah, they were both nervous and it wasn't, the kind of something wasn't working and they both convinced me to reshoot it yeah and i was just like no i don't do this i'm gonna have to end up doing it through the whole movie if i if i agree to this first one it was just that one and it was actually was the only thing they ever yeah the reason was is because that scene had been the scene that i knew them the most because we'd used it from the audition from the audition so it's like i'd known this scene for like a year yeah, a year yeah. and i yeah. like i knew it backwards and it was like 
I knew that it had the potential to be better than we shot it that day. Because we were cold and, like, it was first ever thing, so we were, like, nervous and, like, yeah, it was a bit more than... I was still getting used to the camera, so I was like, like nah. <laughs> I knew it could be better than it, yeah. than it was. Yeah, and because we obviously... I mean, that's for Gail and Axel. That's the scene that had to be, like, boom, sparks. Yeah. You know, it had to be something happening, so... Yeah, yeah and we ended up reshooting it, and we didn't use any of the footage of the first time, and we used all the second, and it was so much better. And then we burned that footage... From the first no. day. <laughs> no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> no one will ever see it. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, Josh, you were casted first. Yeah. Well, kind of. Well, in terms of you were the, like the, the longest remaining cast member. <laughs> People had... I was the f person cast that remained in the film. The longest. Yeah. So yeah. I was... You were like a year and a bit. I honestly... I swear, I kid you not, like, I honestly <laughs> thought... Something would happen. Not for lack of trying. You would become yeah. like a star or something, and we would lose you. And I remember all, throughout that whole year, just constantly trying to, you know, like prep, you know, pump you up to be like in this film that, you know. And I really wanted you to be excited about being well, in this film. Well, the big road, the roadblock was the me moving to Perth. That was yeah. the thing. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, I can't. When I first found out, I was like, ah, oh, I won't be able to do a movie. But yeah, we that worked was nice of you it. that you let me still do the movie. Yeah, yeah. and just, no, I'm not a star. <laughs> Still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so we shot... We Maybe shot one day. We shot, when we had... A, we did a little interview, me and Steph. But remember, we were talking about... Um, we've talked in the past, you know, fam... How people talk about, oh, we've become a family on set and stuff. And we really... I did feel like we did become, like, a little family. Yeah. Even though... All if I did not get along with Steph, it wouldn't have worked for me. I would have just been like... No. Yeah. I felt like... I felt like I was a little bit of the... I mean, Trevor and that, but like I was the grounding because yeah. I had a lot of scenes of all of them. Yeah, and we only yeah. had a few yeah, all together, so yeah, I felt yeah, like yeah. You, the chemistry yeah. came down to me. Yeah, <laughs> it, did, it did, for sure. It did, yeah, definitely. yeah. But I, because I was saying like, last time in the interview, like um, I absolutely loved those times when we actually got all got to film together. Like, you know, we're packing away Leonie's stuff. Yeah, it was like the Avengers. Yeah, we're like, like team! <laughs> <assemble>. <laughs> because, yeah, it was nice. Have you already talked about Steph's audition and everything? Yes, I don't know any of that information. I would like to know. Oh. I'll watch your interview. I'd like to see it. Yeah. When's the DVD come out? Uh, I, don't know you I look like a grandma. <laughs> you look like a grandma. <laughs> On my audition date. Do you really? He was like, makeover ASAP. <laughs> His chick looks like... <laughs> <laughs> she looks 40. I, I was pale, I had a fringe and dark hair. You were just like, get this chick fixed. <laughs> like, what's going on? Well, how, was it hard to play guitar and sing live on set? Was that challenging? Yes, but not for the skill-based reasons. No. Just for the nerves he and was confidence so reasons. <laughs> I am just like, I don't know. It's acting. I'm fine. Like, you know, singing. Even I'm not too bad. But like playing and singing, for some reason, even though I've been playing guitar since I was ten and I can play guitar and I can sing like pretty like you know I can. Yeah, you hold a tune, tune. Yeah. so I shouldn't really be as nervous as I do get, but I, I don't know, for some reason I just get really anxious about it, it's just something that, mm. I don't know, playing and singing. Because you were yeah. really good, like... I practiced my ass off, and I was, that's the, actually the thing I'm most disappointed by in this film, is just like, good. I don't, I mean, mm. you know, for the amount of work that went into it, just because of the nerves, like it didn't yeah. come off. You'd given me like a whole day to just shoot that scene, and I just, oh, just yeah. did oh, by about three, yeah. four p.m. that day, it would have been so. <laughs> good. I, I think I gave you like three takes, and it was like a wide and two close-ups, and it was like that's it. Yeah, I was gonna say that um, that moment in the film where I come off the stage and you and Pat have just watched me, and you guys are like, oh, that was so good, and the actor was like, what, really, for real? That wasn't really acting. I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was your hardest day on set? Most difficult. Yeah, yeah. that day, for sure. The singing. Just singing, yeah. And what was I your... was just anxious about it. And what day did you love the most doing? Oh. No, which day? You know. Yeah, it was... For me? Or for yeah, me? for you. I reckon it was your big scene with the mum singing the tree. That was, that was a really fun day. I know, but like with the cat and everything, like that was really fun. It was good, but I I was feeling a lot of pressure on that day as well because that was the day that yeah, I had to, to cry. Yeah. I had to like do big acting things <laughs> on that day. So the fun, the most fun days for me were the days like kind of probably later on 
where I was just like with you guys and I was relaxed and I was just mm -hmm. settled into the process of it. Um, I, I, know, I know a day which, which was fun. Um, you bashing up uh, a teddy bear, big teddy bear. Oh my god. That was in fun. the middle, middle of Birch that Street. Yeah, that was and there was fun. all these people behind us filming it. Yeah. And I'm thinking, God, I, want, I wish I had their footage because it would have been so cool. To have that. I um, enjoyed yeah. fake busking and that people, a like a lot of people, ch taking photos of me as mm -hmm. if I were a real, not just a real person playing music. <laughs> but I just thought of something. That uh, lovely horse ride at Steph, that was my favorite. Oh! For the montage, that was. Uh, I remember. That was such a good day. It was a lot of fun. I've always wanted to do that. And I kept saying, "It's a montage. Stop talking, Josh." And you're like, "What are we supposed no, to do?" No, like, you wanted us to talk, didn't you? Yeah. Well, and I wanted you to kind of just look out and laugh, and I kept saying to you, "Stop talking, Josh," and you were just like, "But why do I have to stop talking?" And I'm like, "Shut <laughs> up, Josh. Stop talking." No, yeah, it was. Uh, it was because I had to keep riffing with Steph, otherwise we'd just be fake laughing. Yeah. I was like, well, do you want I real laughs or you want fake laughs? Because I can tell, I can say funny things, <laughs> and we can laugh for real, or I can just yeah. be like... Yeah, I did the same thing when I was standing up, and then he, like, shook me up. I'm feeling whacked. But that was improv. That was... Yeah. She didn't know. I slapped you. I was like, <laughs> that was real. I was trying to get real. That, that was real. Yeah. No emotions. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was in the film, like, the slap. Because like, you you only, we only got that in one take. Yeah. Like, what was going through your mind oh, when you first met me and we first read through the scenes? Or was that the first oh, time I met you? The I read through, the scene down. It? Yeah, mm. um, the read through, yeah. Oh, actually, I thought you were too good looking. I thought you were too young. Because you, you are younger than me, aren't you? Yes. No, but it was nothing, but I think on the day, you just, yeah, you looked a lot younger than I thought. I was expecting some darker. Did I have short hair and stuff, yeah. I don't know, you just looked... Your hair was actually the same size as this, yeah, but you, you were, <laughs> you were, um... Shaved. Clean shaven, and then you were, yeah. yeah. But, and, um... Because then the transformation of when I saw you on the shooting day, I was like, oh, okay, that's Axel, like, you know. <laughs> I was, like, 21 when we shot the film. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so I was, yeah, 23. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I forgot that you, how big... The age gap was, but was because he was so child. tall, plus he was wearing those big boots. Yeah, the boots, the boots, the blisters. <gasps> yeah, you got bad blisters. Oh, yeah, those boots. I, I don't know, I didn't, they were like big ski boots or something like that. They're yeah, um, steel caps, they're like worker boots. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get the chance to like wear them in, and they were just rubbing on the back oh, of my yeah. heel there. So, um, yeah. I forgot about that. I don't I know, there were so many times that I wanted to give them to you. Mm -hmm. To just wear them in, and we just never got around yeah. to doing them. They were fine. That once I, I kind of just wore lots of socks and bad days, and that was fine. But yeah, that first day I wasn't ready for it. I was like, because I tried them on. But you didn't fun. complain. You were actually very like. I, I, didn't I must have. No, you did, no. but like you were I, very like no, no, quiet no, about. I rocked up to bring lunch, and he took his boot off, and I go, "Why are you still walking? Why are you still standing up?" What was it like when you first met Steph? Like, yeah, what was, was your expectation? Game. I loved her straight away. I thought she was great. Ooh. No, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah we've, okay. gone, we've gone through a lot of girls. <laughs> we yeah, had. Gail, Gail, I felt Gail's so great. awkward. I'm like, oh God. I was like, yeah. you know, it felt, it felt right. Yeah. It felt right for the role. And also, our chemistry was fine. And I was like getting along with you and stuff. And I thought... This is going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. No. No, but he really did make me feel like good on set, so it was good. I do remember that you guys had the most chemistry as two actors on set. Like, you already knew Trev, mm. um, but you guys, um, in terms of off screen, were having as much fun as you were on screen, and mm. where the other guys were taking it really seriously, yes. and we were really in the yeah. zone, but you guys like to, you know, have a bit of a laugh, so I... You know, and I thought that, that helped because once the film you watch, when you watch the film, you see the chemistry you guys have in mm -hmm. the movie. So that was good. Yeah, that's it's not forced, which is no. Good. Yeah, well, that I thought that was kind of vital because with this relationship and like the character, well, my character particularly, he's all like charm and stuff. So it wouldn't have worked if he, yeah. if, you know, all his dialogue. Yeah, all his stuff. If it, yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't have worked otherwise. I don't think. Like for another role, if I was playing like, you know. Monkey Man or something. I probably would have like yeah. in between takes like yeah. You know, yeah, I've been like. Yeah. Yeah. What about the that, first yeah. time you had to? Because you didn't get to or uh, rehearse your kiss, but what was it like being on set and oh having God. to kiss for the first time? It was your both of your first screen. It's first like a screen. stage kiss. That's no, it wasn't my first kiss. 
No, I'll, I've, been around, I've, been around, I've been around. I've been around. I've been around. Would you play Axel again? Whether in a sequel or a spin-off or whatever reason, would you ever play Axel again? Yes, for sure. I think why? Really? Is this a hypothetical? It's a hypothetical. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a, I think there's a quite a depth to his character that was unexplored in, oh, the, true. in the film. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think so. I think there's a lot to be mined. I think there's a lot of things that kind of like I mean because it's not it's not his story it's your story and it's the story mm. of the four of them so you know there's definitely room um how do you feel that someone is going to be playing Axel in a film but on stage in the stage version of the Neon Spectrum <laughs> what are you talking He's about so oh, in my next film there's a theater play doing the Neon Spectrum yeah. and hold up hold up <laughs> What are you talking about? No, not really. <laughs> is, it, is this true? Do you know this? No, this is news to me. Oh so, my my ne- so my next film's a musical. I know that. And in the film, yeah. the musical that they're doing at a theatre company is the Neon Spectrum. And the main character of my Wait, next so film... Wait, so Neon Spectrum the musical? Yeah. 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 And we have musical songs. <laughs> That's a fucking game. And in, in the film, they're doing the Neon Spectrum on stage. Yep. Yeah. yeah. In, since we shot the film, I've just been doing that. I've been in Perth studying acting, and I'm going to be graduating in November this year. Holy crap! Yeah. yeah. Wow. No, I remember. Like, I remember because you got in when we were still in the pre-production. Yeah. We were going to shoot in the middle of, on your first school holidays, and I was so nervous. I was like, "Oh no, is he going to pull out? Is this school thing?" And we weren't even sure. It was well, I was like, I was calling you to be like. I found out, rang you up, and was like, look, I got into this school. <laughs> I was expecting you to be like, oh, okay, well, obviously you can't be in the film anymore. And I was going to be like, yeah, I'm sorry. But then you were like, you really took me by surprise. You were like, mm. all right, well, we can work around it type thing. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I think well, it's a blessing in disguise that you did, because then I think he gave you a bit of time. Yeah. When he was ready. Like, we you know what I mean? about this, yeah. That. Yeah. What do you mean? Because the fact that I got in, kind of, and the, the longer period of time that it took to make the movie made mm. it better than it would have been. Mm-mm. Like you started the right time, right? Yeah. Then smashing it out and then going, no, this isn't, yeah. Yeah. No, it was good. I, um, I, I knew we were going to, like, I knew because you were going to, because we were shooting during the semester break anyway. Mm. And you used to come on your other breaks and do costume checks and everything. The only thing you couldn't do was rehearsals, but you used to do, you got to do one table read with Steph, but mm-hmm. Steph came in on the last month anyway, so you kind of, yeah, but we just kind of... I would not love to be a part of the search for Gail as well. I'm glad where we ended up, obviously. <laughs> I would have loved to be, like, in the room already cast them. I'm like, mm. Hello. Oh, behind the camera. Hello, girl number five. Yes, take a seat. I'll read the scene with you. What's up with the fringe? <laughs> and then just yeah. after they're done, just not being like Lizzie was for me and, like, nice and encouraging, just after they finished it, <laughs> just like drinking <laughs> next like that would have been so much because you're you when we met you didn't even read with me you just you had pre-sent two videos and i liked your videos but i just wanted to know whether you're just a cool person in real life so you just came over and, and we just hung out and talked for ages do you prefer theater or film mm, it's tricky <laughs> um <laughs> No, they're both great. They both have their own merits. They're both great for different reasons. Um, I have to say theatre, because theatre... Well, this might change, but I haven't done a lot of film work to no, compare to... No, I know what you mean, because you've got your theatre roots. Theatres, sort of I've like, been trained in theatre, yeah. and that's like that's what I've done since I was young. Mm. So that's probably my... What, closer to my heart at this stage. What but about... The, the more film that I do, I might, you know, it might grow on me. Thanks for coming, Josh. Thanks for coming, Steph. Thanks for watching. Thanks for Thanks having for watching. us. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Mm. That's it. Group hug! Yay! Yay.